I am one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Stop, stop, stop. That's terrible. <laughs> it's a former Mr. Universe. Boy, has this guy got some muscles. Who married into the Kennedy family and went on to become one of Hollywood's biggest stars of all time. But what is his best movies? If you want to find out, then... Stick around. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Hope you've all had a really good week. Welcome to another video. Welcome to an Arnold Schwarzenegger special. Gotta tell you a short story about this. I ordered this for today's video. It arrived yesterday through the post. What do you think? It is nothing like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm thinking more like, I don't know, President Reagan perhaps? Definitely not Arnie. So pleased to be doing this video. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of Hollywood's greatest actors of all time. I remember going to the video shops, yes, going to video shops to rent a movie out. I remember going to video shops with my mum and dad as a teenager. You would know if there was a new Arnie movie out there because there'd be posters of his latest movie in the window. There'd also be huge giant cardboard cutouts of him in his latest movie. Nine times out of ten you would go to that section where his latest movie was and it'll be gone. Sometimes you would be lucky enough if someone was returning one, but mostly you'd be disappointed. And that is just how popular Arnie's movies were back in the 80s, early 90s. So I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about his amazing career in Hollywood and also try and give you my top 10 best Arnie movies of all time. Now the reason why I say try is because I've left out the Terminator franchise because I believe that's a franchise on its own and possibly Terminator 1 and 2 would probably get my top spots in my list. So I've left out the Terminator franchise and it's really tough to pick what his best movies were out of the rest of the list. There's so many to choose from. Guys, please do get involved. What are your favourite top three Arnie movies of all time? Try and choose from that list, but leave out the Terminator franchise. Put it in comments down below. I'd love to hear what your favourite three movies are. Also, if you could press that subscribe button for more videos, it'd be absolutely really cool. He began bodybuilding at the age of 15 and went on to become Mr. Universe at the age of just 20 years old. The youngest person ever to win a Mr. Universe. He then went on to win Mr. Universe a staggering three more times. He's also won Mr. Olympia seven times. He retired from professional bodybuilding in 1980 at the age of 33 years old. One of Arnie's first movie appearances was in 1970 for a movie called Hercules in New York. He also auditioned for the 1970s, 1980s TV series The Incredible Hulk, but it was rejected. I did look online, there was a few more roles that Arnie was meant to play but it didn't work out and these were for movies that you couldn't imagine him in now and they were Die Hard, Robocop and Face Off and Face Off was originally meant to be Sly Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, I just couldn't imagine that, there were a lot more movies that didn't work out for Arnie. Arnie originally wasn't meant to play the Terminator. I do feel that Arnie's best movies were 1980s, 1990s. He does still act and obviously he was a former governor of California as well, which is a massive achievement. I do actually have him on my Instagram as well and he actually has two pet donkeys. Really enjoy watching the videos he puts on Instagram of his donkeys, really fun to watch. So let's take a look at his career. I've got the iPad in front of me with the IMBD website. Before I begin, I did actually know Notice there were two TV series or shows that he had an appearance in. The first one is a TV show from 1977 with Michael Douglas, who remembers the streets of San Francisco. And also apparently in 1989, he appeared in one episode where he played an ex-con of Tales of the Crypt. Never knew that. So taking a look at the IMBD website, Arnold Schwarzenegger has been in a whopping 77 movies. He's been a producer 12 times, he's been a director twice, and he's also been himself, like in TV shows, 387 times, which makes him such a Hollywood legend he is today. So how do I pick a best top 10 Arnie list without the Terminator franchise? I've left the Terminator franchise out because I do feel that Terminator 1 and 2 would probably be right up there in my top 10 list. So I've decided to leave the Terminator franchise out. 
we're probably all going to disagree on my top 10 list so please do feel free if you want to to get involved in the comments down below i would love to hear what your favorite top three arnie movies are of all time without the terminator franchise also with this list guys please do remember that it is only my personal opinion and doesn't necessarily mean they are the top 10 arnie movies of all time wow 77 movies that's a lot of movies now obviously i'm not going to go through all 77 movies with you but i am going to mention a few movies that did not make my top 10 list the first movie almost made my top 10 list, but not quite, was an old movie that was really good back in the day called Red Heat. Arnie plays a guy called Ivan Denko that teams up with an unpredictable Chicago cop. You know what it's like when Arnie comes out with these sayings. There's this guy that says to Arnie, how do you Soviets deal with all the stress? And Arnie just gives him that stare look and goes, vodka such a funny scene still sticks in my mind today the next movie almost made my top 10 and it's one of his later movies and it's called aftermath now arnie loses his family in a plane crash due to lack of concentration from an air traffic control tower and arnie seeks revenge to try and bring justice to it for his family's death a really good movie almost made my top 10 but not quite now you know i've left out the franchise terminator i've also left out a couple of more franchises the first one is the conan franchise because i've only ever seen the first movie so i didn't actually stick that in my list the next franchise i've also left out is the expandables again i've only watched the first one i think there's three expandables i've only watched the first movie so i haven't put that in either and i've also left out the sixth day end of days collateral damage erasure batman and robin the last stand maggie killing gunther jingle all the way that almost made my top 10 but because it was a christmas movie i decided to leave it out and this one i watched last night escape plan i have seen it before but i was really hoping this was going to come in at number 10 the only trouble with this movie is a very good film but i think it's more sliced alone rather than arnold schwarzenegger so i haven't made put the escape plan in my list either right let's go for it and move on to number 10 Number 10 is a movie from 1986, Raw Deal. Number 9, I've gone with Junior. And this also stars Danny DeVito, where the scientists are working on a pregnancy drug to stop miscarriages. And Arnie decides to carry a baby. But the trouble is, he actually gets used to the idea and goes through with the pregnancy. Let's put a bun in your own. I must be crazy to be doing this. You may be crazy, but you're also pregnant. I'm pregnant. I just can't keep anything down. It's morning sickness. Number eight is a movie from 1990s. Also stars Sharon Stone, and it's the 30th anniversary this year as well. And that is Total Recall. Got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Look who's talking. They erased your identity and implanted a new one. If I'm not me, who the hell am I? He's got a hologram! Number seven is Twins from 1988, again starring Danny DeVito. Really funny film. It's about twins that get separated at birth. And Arnie goes in search of his long lost brother. And when he finds him, you can obviously see the size difference with um, Danny DeVito and Arnie. Absolutely brilliant film. Number six is a movie from 1987. I've gone with The Running Man. And it's a game show where convicts and runners must do battle against killers for their freedom. Number five, we're halfway there now. I've gone for a movie from 1993. Any ideas? Probably a few of you out there are guessing right now. I've gone with Last Action Hero. Arnie plays an action hero called Jack Slater. There's this boy, he's got this magic cinema ticket that brings you into the movie. Can you imagine that? That'd be absolutely wonderful, having this magic cinema ticket where you go into the actual movie itself. It's such a wonderful idea, a really good film. Haven't actually seen it for ages. I have actually tried to buy it, but it's really, really expensive in Steelbook. Really good film. So I've gone with Last Action Hero. <laughs> 
But tonight, a magic ticket... It's a passport to another world. ...will get Danny closer to the action... <laughs> ...than anyone ever dreamed. Holy cow! I'm in the movie! Who the hell are you? Don't show me! I'm Danny Madigan! I'm a kid! Number four, I've gone with Commando from 1985. Arnie plays a retired soldier called John Matrix whose daughter is kidnapped by a former member of his unit. Really good film, so I've gone with Commando for number four. Number three, Kindergarten Cop. This is such a funny movie. Arnie plays a cop called John Kimball that has to go undercover as a kindergarten teacher. But as well as concentrating on his job, he must also control a very noisy classroom as well. It's just such a funny movie and it's a really good family watch too. First, I would like to just get to know you. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. The male kindergarten teacher. That's unusual. He's been trained to shoot. What made you become a kindergarten teacher? He's been <laughs> trained to fight. But there are some things... You mean you eat other people's lunches? Stop it! He's never been trained to handle. Number two is a movie directed by James Cameron from 1994. I probably put this movie so high up my list because I actually went to the cinema to see this. It's one of my first Arnie movies I saw at the cinema. I had such good fun with this movie. It's True Lies. Arnie plays a guy called Harry who leads a double life. At home, he's this dull computer salesman and at work, he's this government agent. Such a real good film. I actually got the Spanish version there because you are never ever going to see this apparently on Blu-ray or 4K. So I actually got the Spanish version there. So that is True Lies at number two. How'd it go at the convention, honey? You were the big hit of the show. It's fantastic. It's, I love the computer business. For 15 years, Harry Tasker's been leading a double life. Mr. President, one of our best men is inside. Transmitting now. Right on time. I don't believe I've met you before. Rehnquist. Harry Rehnquist. Listen to the following code word. Helen. H-E-L-E-N. Now, they're about to collide. What's your exit strategy? I'm gonna walk right out of the front gate. May I see your invitation, please? Sure. Here's my invitation. Number one is a movie from 1987. Any ideas? I feel like all the men are going to go, yes, 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 I'd put that there. And you're going to get all the women going, oh, no, I'd never put that there. Any ideas what it could be? I've gone with Predator. It's about a team of commandos on a mission in Central American jungle that find themselves being hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. It's got Billy so spooked. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. They're up against the ultimate enemy. Holy mother of God. Nothing like it has ever been on Earth before. She says the jungle just came alive and took him. We cannot see it. So I've gone with Predator at number one. Do you agree? That is my top ten list, guys. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a true Hollywood legend. Some of the phrases and sayings he comes out with is just so funny. Get to the chopper! Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's right, Major. You did. I lied. <laughs> Let off some steam, Bennett. We're married. Consider that a divorce. I've had so much fun making this video. It's been really cool to do. I think we're all going to disagree on my top ten. Do you agree that Predator should be at number one? Now it's your time to get involved, guys. Please do take a look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's huge movie list. Please also leave out the Terminator franchise. I would love to hear what your favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger top three movies are of all time. Put in them comments down below, please. Guys, coming up on this channel in the future, we do have a lot more movie reviews. We also have special edition unboxings. We also have your 4K and Blu-ray pickup videos, as well as your TV and film monthly roundup. There will be lots more film reviews coming as well. And also, coming in November, it's my birthday on this channel. It's a year of Carlinio 9 being on YouTube. So to celebrate, I will be having my first 
competition that's coming in November. Stay tuned for more details. If you like this video, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share. And also, please, if you could subscribe, it'd be absolutely really cool to have you on board with me. It'd be fantastic. You've been watching Carl on the channel Carlinio9. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. I'll be back.